Konnichiwa boys and girls. Today I'm back with the 3SG head and I'm going to be cutting the valve seats. As you saw before I've already done a bit of preparation. I've cleaned up the uh, combustion chambers a little bit just to get rid of some of the the carbon and shit on the actual um, on the actual valve seats just so I don't get the uh, the cutters all filled up with crap. The intake side as you can see doesn't look too bad they all look fairly good but the exhaust side uh, we've got a few rusty seats you can see this one looks probably the worst there's a bit of rust on and around the seat uh, that can be caused by a bit of water uh, sitting in the head maybe from a blown head gasket or something here's pretty much everything you're gonna need you got your 45 and 30 degree valve seat cutter your 60 degree valve seat cutter you might not need that some bearing blue valve grinding compound for lapping uh, this is the pilot for these uh, cutters that goes into your valve guide that's just a little brush to clean off the um, the cutting blades verniers so you can measure your contact area and that's just the t-bar that turns the uh, the cutters let's get into it you need to lubricate your guide to protect both the guide and uh, the other guide they are a taper so you've got to slide it in there pretty much until it stops there we go put your seat cutter on there 45 degrees down there we go that looks pretty good nice and concentric we've got a nice flat surface now Nice, uh, 15 more to go. Lovely. All the exhaust valve seats are done. Well, the 45's done anyway. There was a bit of um, corrosion in a couple of these. Uh, some pitting from the corrosion, but that came out fairly easily. This one was probably the worst. Now, onto the intakes. I don't expect these will take uh, a lot of cutting at all because they look fairly clean nice and shiny still but I'm still gonna cut them so I can mate them to the new surfaces on the valves properly that's the 45 degree cuts done that's the quick and easy part now I've got to blow all the valve faces and use the 60 degree and 30 degree cutting tools to make sure that the contact area is right in the middle and about one millimeter wide it varies between uh, different engines but this 3SGE head, um, the factory specs are 0.8 to 1.3 mil, so I'm going to aim for about one millimeter. Here you can see the valve seating area is way too big and it's further towards the bottom of the valve than it is towards the top so I'm going to be using both the 60 and the 30 degree cutting tools to get that just right.
all that cutting and it's only moved it that much. It's a very time consuming process. Pull it out of the oven and serve it up because that one's done. That actually took so long that the battery in my camera ran out. So I'm not going to record me doing all of them. Uh, I might record just one more and show the process in a little bit more detail. And then I'll see if the camera can do a time lapse. If not, I'll just cut to when they're all done. Blued up the valve. And there's what we're working with. If you can see that, this one's much the same as the last one. The contact area is quite low, so I don't think I'm gonna need to use the 60 on this one. So I'll just lap this valve into its new seat quickly to make sure the contact area is right. These verniers are set to exactly one millimeter. And there you go. Beautiful. And it's even right in the middle. Nice. Holy shit is this time consuming. This is about five hours of work just to get to this point. All the 45 degree cuts and four 30 degree cuts. That's all I've got done. I'm gonna end the video here because I've had enough for today and I wanna go home. Don't forget to give the like button a bit of a tickle. Subscribe if you wanna see some more engine building stuff and eventually some fucking hectic skids. Hope you learned something. Have a fucking good one. <laughs>